Warning, this video contains flashing lights. It's a bit overwhelming, I can't lie. What the? Hopefully we don't see more weird shit. Let's go. Xin chào, welcome back to Vietnam, or welcome if you're new here, I'm Sky, and we are in Ho Chi Minh City. The city truly comes alive at night and I am here for it. So tonight we're in Ho Chi Minh and we're taking you to one of the busiest, most popular, crazy streets here in the center of Ho Chi Minh, also known as Saigon. And we've not even seen it. We've not even seen it. We don't have any clue what to expect. All we know is that there's lots of lights, lots of people and oh lots of noise. So let's go explore the nightlife here in Saigon. Let's go. Amongst all the chaos, we finally found one bar that looked like our kind of bar. So we decided to sit and have a drink. We were happy sat there just watching people pass by until this happened. Oh man, I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know how I feel about it. There's kids walking around, fire breathing. Like, it's really... It... <laughs> <laughs> Basically what I was saying is that we saw multiple kids but were literally no older than like six fire breathing, literally pouring petrol into their mouths, blowing out the petrol and then obviously asking for money and like for the most part I can deal with it like people coming, kids coming around selling things, I get it like they're struggling but that was just a bit too much for me, that actually really upset me. <laughs> Um, I know that if, you know, in Vietnam people are probably used to that, but I've never seen that before, so that was, yeah, a little bit unusual. We are now walking to find a club. Fingers crossed to play good music. Never know if I can, we can fit in there. Maybe not. 
They're not playing R&B like we thought they were. So, where do we go now? Go back if you want. What, home? To that place. To the bar. Back to the bar. Hopefully we don't see more weird a guy, was walking more weird a guy was walking around with a snake around his neck. <laughs> it's a very weird place. But well, let's go get a drink because I need to get drunk in order to forget where I am. <laughs> We finally found this bar called Hotel 96 which were playing R&B music and the best thing was they let us take over the YouTube to put our own music on so we were in our element. We later discovered that this is a backpacker's paradise so if you're in Ho Chi Minh City wanting to meet people definitely come to this walking street. Don't know what time it closes, we were there till very very late and things were still happening as we were leaving. Highly recommend! What a crazy bloody night! I'm absolutely sweating. I'm, I would say I'm pretty drunk. Charlie decided it was a good idea to order a round of 10 Jaeger bombs for people that we didn't even bloody know. But it, eventually we ended up dancing with them anyway. Um, and that bar was actually sick because we got to control the music. So they just let us put on whatever we wanted on YouTube. Charlie was in his element listening to 50 Cent and bloody pop, <laughs> pop smoke and all of the good stuff. So yeah, I would say a successful night, would you? Successful, yeah. Yeah. In the beginning, in the beginning, when we were sober, I was a bit like, hmm. The more we got drunk, the better the music got. And yeah, it was quite fun. So that was Bui Ven. Oh shit, what was it called? Bui Ven Walking Please. Street? Please I'm going to put the name here. I'm just That'll just be easier. <laughs> <laughs> Some walking street in the middle of Ho Chi Minh City. The biggest walking street you can find. <laughs> It was fun, it was fun. It's definitely something that you must see when you come to Ho Chi Minh City. Um, so now we're on our way to McDonald's, of course, because we do that every single time we go on a night out. <laughs> and then we're gonna go home. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, of course, give it a... Thumbs up. <laughs> and like the video, no. And subscribe if you wanna join me or more of my Vietnamese adventures. You won't be going on on if you get run over. So. True. See you all in the next adventure. Bye! Coming up next, we head to Da Nang, a coastal city in the centre of Vietnam known for its sandy beaches and is said to be a surfer's paradise. In this vlog we give you our first impressions of Da Nang, try some different Vietnamese food, see what the nightlife is like and determine whether you should visit Da Nang in 2022. So if you don't want to miss out on our Vietnam adventures then be sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss a vlog coming up. See you in the next one!